In today's video, I am going to do technical analysis on B Square Corporation, ticker BSQR. B Square Corporation provides software solutions and related engineering services to businesses that develop, market, and sell standalone intelligence systems in North America, Europe, and Asia. It operates through two segments, Partner Solutions and Edge to Cloud. BSQUARE Corporation was incorporated in 1994 and is headquartered in Seattle, Washington. In the chart here, we can see that BSQR price was initially very high, at around $10. But then it decreased to around $2. Currently, it is trying to retest and hit its previous high. Let's add support and resistance lines. We have added support and resistance lines at three major areas. 1. Its previous high. 2. Its rejected high, wick. 3. Its current price. Gap ups and gap downs are very common and influential in this stock, we can see a major gap up from the day before yesterday. Normally when gap downs occur, the sellers are more in control than the buyers and vice versa for gap up. In the pre-market, we can see a gap down from the price of $7.05 to $6.65. This gap down resembles sellers who are more in control of the market than buyers, thus we might mostly see a decline. Let's look at indicators. RSI levels are currently at the normal region, just recovered from the severely overbought region, but we can see it headed once more towards the overbought region. We can see from the chart here there is a clear signal of buy, but a gap down poses this indicator, thus we are getting mixed signals. Let's go to the lower time frames. In the hourly time frame, we can see large volume levels indicating more momentum and public entering the market, we can also say it's very volatile as the price is changing a lot in some time. It is a risky trade, thus perfect money management, risk management plan would be ideal. From the chart here we can say. 1. Pin bar candles. We can see pin bar candles in the current one hour and the one before that, these pin bars are supporting the bulls, thus we are likely to see an increase rather than a decrease. 2. Bulls are influencing the volume levels. Thus bulls are making the market's momentum. If we see carefully we can see when the bulls enter the market there are always high volume levels and vice versa with the bears. Let's take a look at the indicators. The RSI indicator is showing normal levels and it's also directly correlating with the price indicating no divergence, thus the stock is safe in terms of the indicator. The super trend indicator yet gives a buy signal, let's again confirm this by going to the lower time frames. I would suggest not to enter this market as we are firstly getting mixed buying and selling signals and also because it's extremely volatile, one candle in the opposing direction can blow your account. In the 30-minute time frame, we are yet to get a buy indication, but the pre-market price of the stock has decreased more to $5.58. We can see a bear rally after a bull rally, be prepared for the unprepared. RSI levels are showing normal levels. Pin bars and high volumes add to the bullish indications, but the pre-market supports the bears. Subscribe to my channel for more stock and crypto analysis and price prediction every trading day. Have a great one.